Hey, what's up? You guys hear me? Oh, this is fun. All right, hey. What's up, everybody? Um, I'm here to talk about Bitcoin DAOs. If you guys are here for the talk, I would love it if the people on the sides want to just come. Uh, we have some VIP seating down here. No extra cost. You guys can kind of come in. Um, I have some special announcements today, and I have a quiet voice, so I want to make sure you guys hear everything. So. I've been looking forward to today for the past six months because last summer I left a company I had founded in the Web2 space to come and build in Web3 and start a new company. And since then, we've been working in stealth with some of the best developers and designers in order to help make building and growing decentralized communities just much more easy and much more secure. So I'm really excited because I'm going to have a bit of an announcement today. I'm going to share that with you guys. And also, by the end of the talk, there's going, to be, there's going to be a little secret, something that you can use today that I think will put you on the path to starting today to making what will be like the rise of Bitcoin DAOs. So I'm really excited to share that. Before I do that, um, I'm just going to share with you the problem and what brought me to come to Web3. So I'm assuming you guys have used Discord before? Some people have used Discord before. We've all used Discord, yeah? Um, so if you use Discord, you've probably had this experience where you're doing your work, you're getting things done, and all of a sudden, out of the corner of your eye, you see you have a DM from somebody you don't know, right? <laughs> have you had this before? Yeah, yeah, we know. Um, in this case, for me, I see it's like, it's like a pink pooch chewing pink bubble gum, and I'm like, What's going on here? I don't know this person. Now I have to go and click this thing. It's probably going to be spam or some kind of scam or trying to get me to buy an NFT collection, right? So why, is this, you know, why does this bother me? So it's small, but really the problem is much bigger. It's a small moment out of my day, but really what it's doing is it's eroding the amount of trust that I have in my communities that anyone can come in and potentially advertise to me or potentially steal NFTs from me or just really erode the value of the effectiveness of what we're trying to do, right? I'm assuming we're all on Discord, for all on Discord, you guys have seen the ticketing tool hack that happened last week. Did you guys see this? Some yeses. Yeah. yeah. You didn't see it? Um, if you didn't see it, it means you can thank your admins and moderators in any NFT group that you're in. Because anyone who's an admin or moderating a group, there was this ticketing tool hack that allowed hackers to come in and masquerade as your admins in the group, right? I know this because I was at NFTL LA last week with Trevor, and we were at a party, and he was, so Trevor runs the Crash Punks um, DAO or community here, and he had to go for an hour trying on Discord to disable this bot, this external bot that was threatening his community. And you know, luckily for the Crash Punks, I think everything worked out really well, but a lot of communities were hit by this just last week. It was on April Fool's, and what this looked like for the Mutant Ape Kennel Club, this is a Bored Ape Club kind of spinoff or kind of segue, is um, somebody was masquerading as this admin. People thought it was real, and they were able to just come right into the community, which is a gated community on Discord, and say, hey, more or less, like, send us your NFT, and we'll send you two back, which totally sounds like a scam, but sometimes it's real, right? <laughs> so this happened, and... Two, two members, two NFTs were lost, about half a million dollars, right? We're basically two members down from that group. And um, I mean, this happens all the time. Millions of dollars are getting lost. And it really just erodes the trust of our communities. And I think that's a, a really big problem. But you know, I was talking about Discord. Like, What I love about Discord, I think what we all love about it, is it allows us as strangers to come from like all around the world and come to one place and connect and build something bigger than any one of us. And it's amazing because like, I'm doing that with you guys all here today. I mean, I've collaborated with, with people like Nick and Will and just a lot of people in this room. And I'm meeting you all for the first time today. And it's just super amazing that I, I just think that like, humans can coordinate in that way. right? But at the same time, you know, Discord didn't invent organization. right? They didn't invent the way that we like, communicate. And so I think that there is a better way. And I also, I also think it's more important than like, to be honest, like even anything that's come yet so far with all the projects that we're working on. Because I think what we're trying to do here 
at this conference is set a tone and set an example for the rest of the world that is going to hopefully one day adopt these tools. We're like Twitter day one or internet 1995, right? And so if we know that there's this flaw in the tools that we're using, we're using so many decentralized open source Web3 projects, but we're using this one tool that is really just this weak point and we all know it. If we want the city of Miami to manage the people and to send Bitcoin to everybody, right? I mean, on a scale of one to 10, I would not recommend this experience. And we all know it, right? So this is, this is a big problem. Um, but I think that's amazing that humans can organize. And when I look to the future of organization, I think DAOs are this really amazing revolution that, again, we are on the tip of. I think a lot of people on Twitter have really strong opinions, like, a DAO is these four things, do it. You know, and you're like, OK, OK. I actually take a different view. I feel. Like we're still trying to figure this out. And it's part of a, what I'd say is the third revolution of how we organize. The first revolution of how we organize came in the 1800s. The first corporation was only in the 1800s. And it allowed a legal entity for people around the world to collaborate together and say, we are a legal entity. We can do business. We can move resources. We can move capital. Corporations, kind of a big thing, right? <laughs> The next revolution, the second revolution, was sparked by a technology, the computer revolution, sparked a technology of open source software. And open source software is amazing, right? I think it's undervalued, like we don't appreciate it as much. These gifts to humanity, anything from the World Wide Web itself, which was free, Tim Berners-Lee gave that to us for free, to Wikipedia, to Linux, WordPress, there's a ton of open source software. I mean, stacks, I mean, Bitcoin, like there's a million things, right? And, but really what that is is a new way of organizing that people came together working for free, strangers collaborating. And I mean, you can't, if you're writing history, you can, you can write that. I mean, it's just like, it's amazing that works, right? So now we have this new technology. We have Bitcoin, we have blockchain, we have Web3. And now we're kind of scattering and we're trying to figure out how do we organize in the future? What's the best way to use these tools? And we have this idea of DAOs, right? And so I see DAOs as this really, pos uh, really positive experiment for the future that takes the best of open source, the transparency of working in public, the tools that we have, right, that we can leverage. I think open source is really meritocratic, meaning what you can contribute is your value. It's not based on like who your dad is. It's not based on where you went to college necessarily. It's, it's your value in the community, right? This is open source, and now we have Web DAOs as open source plus corporations plus business, right? We're able to have shared ownership and the future vision of this. I think it's super powerful, right? Um, and over the past few years, there's been a, a handful of DAOs that I've been able to participate in or follow in their discords. These are just a few of them. And we're starting to notice some trends on how DAOs are organizing around fundraising, whether it's like the Constitution DAO. We're all going, in seven days, they put 17,000 people in seven days pulled together money to try to buy the Constitution. Like, that's an amazing way to organize human beings, right? We have social art, what I just call social art DAOs, people organizing around art or social causes um, or phenomenon. We have projects like ENS and Uniswap. These are open source projects, but they're open source in a new way where you can collaborate and be part of that project. Anyone that contributed to the early days of Linux didn't benefit financially from that project, you know? But now we can start these open source projects and benefit as all part of it, and it's amazing. We have investment DAOs, and we have, what I'm saying is, <laughs> in real life, city DAOs. DAOs that are coming to help change and transform cities, and I think we're all here in Miami and super excited about city coins and um, a lot of other projects that are coming down the way. So this is amazing. I've been super passionate about working with a lot of these groups, and at the same time, if you look under the hood, they're using all these Web3 products, and yet at the center they have Discord, right? And if you know how Discord works, um, basically Discord does a lot of its verification outside of Discord. It uses bots, and it does that verification. It does a lot of the tools outside and brings them in, because it wasn't created for us, right? So I think there's a better way to do this, and I'm really excited to share what we've been working on. A better way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's called console. Yeah, right? Excited? 
It's going to be awesome. And console is a better way to build and grow your decentralized communities. So, oops, oh, we got oh, one second. Um, <laughs> Um, yeah, so I want to make, an, and today I'm going to make a special announcement that we already have one group coming from Discord. We have 25,000 people in one Discord that are going to completely leave this summer and come to console. And so I want to share that with you today. If any of you guys are part of the Crash Punks Discord, you'll be the first users to use console this summer when we launch. <laughs> Super exciting. Yeah. So let me tell you a little bit about console and show you underneath the hood what to expect. So console is a community platform built around the people in the community and helping them come together and be more efficient together. It's a chat platform with built-in verification, Web3 native for crypto natives, and it's going to be completely open source. Just made for you, made for us, right? When you come to console, the first day of console, you'll be asked to open your hero wallet and account, uh, connect with one of your accounts. And it will do verification looking for the NFTs or FTs, fungible tokens, your tokens that you hold, to validate whether you can enter that group. So for Crash Punks, when you come this summer, you'll verify here. And there'll be a screen where the admin of that group will set the requirements. It could be anything. It could be one NFT. It could be two NFTs. It could be a certain amount of city coins. If you're a part of Miami and you want to have some skid in the game of being part of the city coin DAO here, you have to have a certain amount of Miami or stake it for a certain amount of time. There's a lot we're doing with this. Once you're inside, you're chatting with people, and you know they are who they are. <laughs> they know they are who they're saying they are. You don't have to worry anymore. You can do that by looking at their BTC name or just by their avatar. You'll be able to click on the avatar and see their profile. See not only that they're verified, but also we're working on reputation so that you can see what they've been contributing to the community. Not just that they bought themselves in, although that could be one thing, but there's also the option for reputation and contribution over time to the community. Right? <laughs> So um, how I would say console compares to Discord is it's chat with built-in verification and a lot less of the scams, shams, and spam that you have to deal with on a daily basis. All right. It's pretty awesome, right? You guys are excited? All right. All right. And there's one more thing. <laughs> there's one more thing I'm really excited about. In addition to that, we're going to have all the DAO tooling necessary in order to start and manage your DAO. So things that Discord are just natively missing. So we're going to have treasury for managing the funds in a multi-safe way so that you have multiple owners and you don't have to worry about one person rugging you and stealing all the funds. We're going to have voting so that the community can together decide the future direction of where the community goes. We're going to have bounties so that like a company, you can have your contractors, your workers, your communities, whatever you want to have in there, contribute and set the path forward and contribute to work and potentially get rewarded for it. And over time, we're going to have custom modules as well. It's going to be open source and extendable, and we're going to listen to the community and how we build this moving forward. So there's a lot of possibility moving forward. Um, one feature that is um, coming right after chat is going to be the treasury. And this is what the treasury will look like in console. So you'll be able to see transparently all the money and all the flow and, and who owns that wallet. And what I'm excited to announce today is that, like I said, everything is open source. Everything is going to be um, totally on GitHub, totally viewable for you to use. And we're going to spin all of, these, um, all of the modules as their own pieces. So that the treasury, for example, is available today as its own standalone Clarity contract that you can go and deploy literally today and start working with. So you don't even need console. If you, if you come to console and you want to go somewhere else, your data is yours. You can go and take it with you. So the Clarity contract for that is at multisafe.xyz. You can see it right here. You can go here right now and deploy 
a multi-safe contract so that if you have a DAO, let's say you have four people, you want to buy a house, let's say with Bitcoin, you can pool together your money. Right now it's only stacks, but we're working towards Bitcoin. You can pool together your stacks, you can put it into a wallet, and in order to move that wallet somewhere else or to make a deployment, you might have to have two or four people or four or four people on that approve that. So that's really powerful because you have that shared ownership of where the funds are going and where they're coming from. Um, so this is up and using, uh, it's in beta for the next two months and we'll have an audit in, in scheduled for July. So, so for now, we're looking for people to test it and try it with just maybe a little bit of stacks um, for now. And the future vision is to bring this so that you can also pool Bitcoin into it and have a Bitcoin safe with multi-sig. So, and of course we're building this on Bitcoin, right? This is why we're here and we're super excited. I mean, why, a lot, so some people ask me why Bitcoin? I think if you believe, like I do, that the future of business is going to be based on a foundation of Bitcoin, that Bitcoin at least will be some part of moving those funds around and securing our businesses, then we're going to need more Bitcoin DAOs. Right? We don't have too many right now, but this is the year this is going to happen. This is why we're here building, and it's going to be really amazing. And so I want to help you build these and start these Bitcoin DAOs. Um, so that's what we're doing with, uh, with Console. We're starting the summer with chat identification built on Bitcoin. And then moving forward, we'll have treasury voting bounties and potentially bridges to other chains. So really exciting. Um, if you want to follow the project and get on our wait list, I have, I have two exciting things, two ways that you can get involved. We have an amazing team and we're looking to expand and grow. So we are hiring. If you want to get involved, please let me know. Uh, and if you follow our Twitter, we will put out a wait list soon because we'll be uh, handpicking and onboarding the first five or the next five DAOs onto console this summer. So if you want to potentially be those or you know somebody that would be a good fit, even if you're not a DAO yet and you're thinking of forming, come talk to me. I want to help make more Bitcoin DAOs. Uh, I'll be around all day today, so come hit me up. Well, thanks for your attention. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you.